Okay, as you can see in this container here, I have one stalk of corn. I'll let you take a look at it. I've got it attached to a pole here just to keep it from uh, tipping over. And it grew uh, five and a half, six foot tall, tasseled. I took tassel and or uh, took the tassel pollen and pollinate myself, and I got full pollination on this ear, which is really good. Good. And now I'm drying it out. It's a decent sized stalk. I'd say it's uh, about five and a half, six inches long. And um, and I actually had two sort of. One tried to come here, one a little bit here, but really only the one that was growing here fully developed. And that's okay. So why am I doing this video? Well, one is, <clears throat> well, the primary reason is because I want to uh, find out what the root system looks like inside this one container to give me some evidence of how many I can plant in a container and, and overall production. So I'm thinking right now before I even check into it that I'm hoping to get three, uh, three corn in each container and I'm gonna turn them sideways to where they're grow the leaves are growing this way and this way. And that way they're not touching or encroach upon each other. I know the roots will be but in my mind, for some silly reason, I'm thinking I could get three uh, if grown that way. So part of the part of what I need to do is take a look at the root system in here, and I'm going to do that with you. All right. So let's take the stock off and just set it over here in the water culture beds for now. Uh, I'll take and turn the pot. And two. Uh, and make sure that you're in the video, that the, the camera is pointing so you get a good view. Okay, I'm going to turn it just a little bit this way. Simple as doing that. Yeah, let's look at the root structure, shall we? Okay, there's a little bit of circling on the bottom. And that's also the lowest depression around the edge there in the container, so we know that that's probably always sitting in some liquid. So let's just kind of break it apart, which it does really easily. And uh, as you can see, really easy so that is one corn grown in hydroponics uh, to full maturity and uh, that's good news in my eyes because this pot should easily be able to accommodate two more so I'm still thinking I could grow three per container um, and this is hydroponic growing because uh, this medium is uh, aged rice holes or peat moss with uh, used uh, with perlite or in my case here uh, parboiled rice holes in place of perlite is what I should say. So essentially I'm always using peat or aged rice holes is a primary substrate and uh, the aeration is provided by parboiled rice holes in my case, substituting for perlite or vermiculite. So there's no value to this at all. There's no compost in it, there's no nothing in it. Everything it gets is from uh, nutrient, uh, hydroponic nutrients. In this case, master blend, calcinate, and magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. So that's everything it needs right there grown in this little container and that's that's how I do it so this is a good good example of things that I notice when growing this way if if the uh, plant gets everything it needs it doesn't make huge uh, it doesn't send out huge root systems to go everywhere because it gets it in a smaller package uh, 
because it's right every, the, all the nutrient needs is around the roots at all times and that's what I've noticed so we're going to try next season when it gets warm enough we're going to try growing corn three to a bucket instead of four and we're going to angle the uh, corn leaves parallel to each other instead of perpendicular we don't want the leaves to overlap or do anything we want to grow like this so I hope you're able to see everything I'm trying to explain here and uh, we'll go from there next year this is Brent see you guys later